the year 1997, for me, Elizabeth Griffin Gore, was the worst year of my life. And when I say worse, it was bad. It was really bad. But the year 1997 was also the best year of my life. And it was great. It was amazing. It was unbelievable. Why was it the worst year of my life? Well, I'm not going to get into a lot of details, but I will say that it was a year in which a relationship that I valued dissolved and fell apart. It was a relationship that I thought would last 30 or 40 years, but it didn't. And it has taken me 20 years to get over that devastation and that disappointment. But we're not going to dwell on that. The scars have healed and they're faded. And I have matured and grown and learned. Why? Was 1997 the best year of my life? Well, let me tell you. (laughs) I wrote a book entitled Naira. And that book in 1997, for whatever reason, resonated with black churches, with black bookstores, with the library, with the black newspaper, with the black radio stations, with local radio stations. And as I said, I can't explain why, but I'm so appreciative. A lot of authors are told that their first book is not going to be successful. Their first book is not going to sell a lot of copies. Their first book is usually not going to be a bestseller. Well, for me, Naira is my bestseller. Until today, Naira has sold more copies than any other book that I have written. It has sold over 11,000 copies and counting. Most of those copies are in paperback. Most of those copies I paid for to be printed. I used a printer in Canada and they shipped my books to my residential area, to my apartment. They unloaded them on flatbeds and left them on the sidewalk for me to lug into my first floor apartment. And when I say my middle room was stacked to the ceiling with books and I wasn't sure whether I would be able to sell them all, but it was all on a belief basis. I believed in myself and my writing And as a result of that, uh, I printed that run. Then I did another run, delivered to my house local. And then I did a third run. So in 1997, as I said, I was in the Philadelphia Tribune. I was on their life uh, page. And I had my first book signing. And as a result of that, it opened so many doors. So I just want to encourage writers to to definitely go after your dream. I know the climate has changed from 97 until now. I know things are different. In 97, the reason and the way I got my newspaper uh, interview, and it's a large spread. I went to the Philadelphia Tribune. I asked to speak to someone about my book and that I was having a book signing. And I thank God to this day that Anthony C. Davis, who is a Tribune staff writer, he took the time to listen to me, to talk to me, to ask questions. And I thought he would just give me a little article. He gave me the whole front half of the life section. My picture is huge. A copy of my book, which was eight and a half by 11, Xeroxed and uh, black and white with my own drawing that was on the cover. (laughs) It was spiral bound. And uh, I'm just amazed that he gave me so much coverage. And as a result of his article, he has opened so many, so many, so many doors for me. And 
he gave my writing legitimacy. And as I said, times have changed so much. I don't know how you, uh, I assume that you would go through the same process, sending out press kits or um, contacting um, contacting the, the, uh, the different departments or the different businesses and seeing if you can have an interview. But I know in 97, it was, I would pick up a phone and I called uh, our public radio station um, and they asked me to come in and sit as part of a panel talking about virginity and sexuality. And, uh, I was on radio times with Marty Moskowain, which is shocking. <laughs> I just, um, I can't explain the phenomena of Naira. Um, I do know that there is definitely a need for young adult fiction and maybe that was part of it. There was a lot of, of um, self-published books out at that time, but not a lot dealt with young adult. So maybe that was where, uh, my book resonated with so many people, but, um, I just wanted to share this story with you and to share uh, some photos and just to reminisce about the past and to let you know that I have been writing for a very long time and, I can share other stories about book signings and things, and I'll do that in the future. But thank you for taking the time to come to my channel and to hear what I have to say. And I truly appreciate that. And I'm wishing you love, peace, joy, and happiness. Until next time, bye-bye.